Hello and welcome back to another video for Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker with some more housing items. First of all today we're looking at the miniature antique clock tower which is something I've had my eye on ever since the patch notes where they showed this weird sort of Big Ben-esque grandfather clock for outdoor spaces. So uh, yes, as you can see the recipe on the left of the screen there, this is a level 86 blacksmithing recipe. And uh, yeah, it's not actually particularly difficult to source those materials from the nodes in Endwalker. So it's a fairly basic craft. Uh, this is actually selling quite well on the market board, like many of the other Endwalker housing items that people are trying to source for their lovely abodes. And um, I, I can't wait to see this one personally. So I have purchased this from a market board because my crafters are still slacking behind. Unfortunately, I know I need to spend time to do that. But we can have a look here at my small plot at this miniature antique clock tower. This is an outdoor clock that will always tell you the time so long as you keep it wound. There we go. Wow, that's actually really quite a large uh, clock tower, isn't it? That's that's impressive. That's very impressive. Let's, uh, let's go into the old first person -y mode and have a look at this clock. In fact, hold on. My housing menu uh, closed prematurely. Let's move that over a little bit. And then we can rotate around with this. But yeah, this is actually quite a detailed item. More detailed than I expected. It has the real Eorzean time being displayed, which is something I didn't expect. It always blows my mind for some reason when I see a clock actually display the real, you know, actual Eorzea time in the actual game. I don't know why that is, but I, I like it. I like it a lot. You can see all the mechanical workings in the center there, which look like little chocobos. We'll have a look at that in a second, but this is already a beautiful item. I like the way the light hits the top of it there as we're rotating around. It looks like all four sides are pretty much the same as you would expect, so you get the same kind of uh, deal visually from all locations that you view it at. It's a beautiful item, actually. It's a lot nicer than I expected it to be. Pictures do not do it, this item justice. And um, yeah, this, this goes to prove that. So let's get a little bit closer. Oh, they are chocobos. That's amazing. So the cogs and workings inside are spinning around. And there's little chocobos racing around. Look, that's awesome. I really like details like that. That's a really, really nice little bit to add to that. Very, very nice. Very nice. I still can't get over the fact that's actually real time. <laughs> so uh, in terms of scale, this is what it is compared to the lowest size Makote in the game. Um, which, yeah, it's, it's enormous, isn't it? <laughs> it's absolutely enormous. I do like the aesthetics of this one. I think the color is just perfect, isn't it? I like it. I like it a lot. You could put this anywhere. You could mix this with water features. You could put this at the end of your property. And uh, with these cafe walls, this actually works quite well. I might put it between the sign and the door. I really like this item. Really like it. I don't think it's a diable item, unfortunately. Let me just uh, double check that. Yeah, this, this isn't a diable item, unfortunately. Which is a shame. It would have been nice to dye the actual wood. But at the same time, I don't necessarily think you would benefit too greatly from it. I think it's quite nice. But yeah, I'm, th I'm thinking maybe rotating this round, snapping that to grid, and putting it somewhere like here. So it's as if you're like booking reservations at a certain time for the cafe. That's really cool. I'm very impressed. I, I don't know if this might be a furnishing design contest winner from 2019. If it is, then uh, that's amazing. I haven't double checked. I usually check on these things. But yeah, what a wonderful item. I'm I'm very happy. I'm, this is going to stay in my housing area for sure. Anyway, have you got yourself an antique clock tower yet? Do you plan to get one after seeing this video? I know I certainly am more interested now I've made the effort to make the video to buy this item and uh yeah 
it's it's really cool check your market boards if you can't craft it yourself and see if you can pick one up highly recommend all right much love more videos like this coming up and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye Buh bye bye